Hey YouTube fam, hey YouTube fam, hey YouTube fam. It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. Channel, 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 channel. You're gonna have to do more than just. You're gonna have to do less for you. Tell mommy you know how. So you're gonna need to do more. Girl Gladys, aka is that your hair, and welcome back to my channel. So, some of you probably already know by now, but we made to 10,000 subscribers. What are you freaking kidding me? 10,000, y'all. That just that number just sounds like really crazy to me. Yeah, I'm like really, I'm just like really happy about that. I know today is $20 Tuesday and I'm sure a lot of you want to figure out what wig I'm wearing, but I really want to start off by giving a huge thank you to all of you, all of you that have been subscribed, whether you subscribed an hour ago or whether you were subscribed since day one. Thank you, seriously, because YouTube takes a lot of work and it's so hard to be seen as a small YouTuber, so hard. Even when you have really good content, it's just like there are freaking millions, probably billions of people on this platform. So, you know, sometimes it's hard to stand out and the algorithm may or may not always be in your favor. So the fact that I have been able to garner this many people and not just by myself, like it's been with the help of y'all too, because people like my posts, share my posts, comment, just being able to engage with y'all and for you to think that my work is worthy enough to share. I mean, that just means the world to me. Seriously, it does. I'm just extending the biggest thank you that I can find to each and every one of you. Especially to my wig bays, you know, the wig community, we're pretty tight knit. You know who you are. Thank y'all so much for just being a huge helping hand and support. I've learned a lot up until this point and it's just like, wow, who would have thunk it? Like me, Gladys, a YouTuber? What? <laughs> It's really cool. Just to give you a little like background, I originally started this channel because people kept asking me about my wigs. I've been wearing synthetic wigs since 2015 and they were like, wow, it looks really natural. Oh, that's synthetic. You know, those type of questions. And people are like, maybe you should start a channel and share what you know. And I'm like, uh, bye. <laughs> But like my girlfriend, she started asking me about it too. I was like, fine, I'll commit to it. I started a hair Instagram, which is, is that your hair? I started that in like January, 2018. Wasn't consistent, posted like once a month, whatever. And then I would say around November of 2018, I was like, no Gladys, like if you're gonna start an actual YouTube channel, you need to become consistent on Instagram. So I did like this 12 day Christmas thing in December. And I was like, okay, your girl has 500 followers, okay. And I just started promoting myself via like DM mostly, saying I had a channel coming and people would ask me about it. And then finally I started my channel, January 21st, 2019. And here we are on $20 Tuesday. April 21st. By the way, I've reached 10,000 subscribers on Saturday, April 18th. So in total, it's been like a year and like three months of me being on YouTube. So I just think it's amazing. I'm so proud of my growth on here. I'm proud of being able to, you know, basically build a brand for myself and we'll just see where it goes, take it as far as I can. I have a, a few things in store for my channel. I do want to, <laughs> Yeah, I have ideas for days. A few of them I've been slacking on because I just wasn't feeling confident in them as far as relaying the information to you all. And I'm definitely a perfectionist, so if I'm gonna do something, I need to do it right. So one idea I have is going to kind of delve deeper into me on YouTube and just things about YouTube, like growth and analytics, things like that. It's something I want to do like twice a month. Let me know if that is something that you're interested in. It's something that I'm very interested in. I watch videos 
on social media and branding and marketing all the time, almost more than I watch hair videos now. It's something I've become really passionate about and I wanna share it with you all. So if it's of interest to you, let me know in the comments down below. But yes, y'all, thank you so much for 10K. I guess 20K is coming up, right? Like that's the next big step. So let's just keep going. I'm so happy y'all been rocking with me. All right, so on to this wig. Welcome to $20 Tuesdays. $20 Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs for the lovely price of $20 and below. So let's just jump right in. This wig right here, this cutie patootie, oops, snag. <laughs> Oh Lord. So this cutie patootie, I got her from Glamour Trust on sale. And this is Vivia by Free Trust Equal. I did review Vivia before last year, like early last year in a blonde color. I'll link that video in the description box. I really like the color blend on that one. So you should definitely check it out if you are into honey blonde tones. But this time I decided to get her in a 1B and I'm feeling the 1B vibe, y'all. I'm feeling this. So the V does come with your typical cap construction, your two combs in the front, your comb in the back, adjustable straps. She is a lace part wig though. In case you are new to wigs, just know the difference between a lace part and a lace front is this. A lace part wig does not come with any lace to cut. It just comes straight out the pack and it's supposed to be like ready to wear, I guess you can say. But there is a lace part still. It's just there's no, it's not a frontal, there's no lace whatsoever. A lace front, however, is a wig that comes with lace to cut. There is usually a part in the middle or on the side. It's not a frontal though because frontals have a wider parting area. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify that for my newbies out there who are just now diving into wigs. This is a lace part wig. Let me give you a quick 360 of this unit. As far as putting this wig on, I did what I normally do. Put it on, cut a V in my lace. I applied got to be glue. I blow dried it. I pressed it down. I filled it in a little bit with some eyeliner. And I used my blow dryer to flatten the top. And then. All right, y'all, so let's just dive into the pros of Vivia. I think the first pro to this unit would be the style in this 1B color. I love large barrel curls. It's just a classic style. And I like when synthetic wigs have like a little bang and layers. I just, I just love everything about this look. It reminds me of one of my favorite synthetic wigs from last year, Bobby Boss Kylie. Similar style, it actually looks very similar, almost the same as Kylie, wow. Except this is under $20. But yeah, I love the style. The texture of the hair feels pretty decent. I would classify this as a light yakky texture. I was getting a few snags running my fingers through this hair, but not so many that I was alarmed. Like it's what I would expect from a synthetic wig of this price point. And it's also good that this the shedding was very minimal. Like I don't think I got any shedding, maybe a few strands, maybe. I might be making that up. So yeah, no shedding out the pack, so that's great. Now as far as the cons for this unit, I did have have two or three. First con, which would be for a lot of people with a larger head, the cap size is on the small side. I put this on my medium size head and I was like, okay, this is snug. And it, it came down a bit here, but all this over here is showing. I mean, I'm not too worried about it because it's covered. But if the wind blows, I mean, <laughs> there's that. So my girls with larger size heads, you might not be too comfortable with this cap. Another con to this unit would be the parting space. I mean, the parting space itself is clean, but the fact that it's a lace part wig, you just have to understand that there's going to be a line of demarcation. And what that means for my new wig wearers, it means that the lace, the way it is in the front, it does not melt seamlessly into your scalp like a lace front wig would when you cut the lace off. So it just has like this, thicker lace there because it didn't come as a lace front. It can be a little annoying if you don't know what to do with it, but for me, my simple solution has always been to cut a V in the lace. And cutting a V will take away that line demarcation and let it blend into your scalp. And I, as you can see here, it's looking pretty good. So that's my solution every single time. People ask me why I sometimes cut a V in my lace and that is why, to get rid of a line of demarcation because that line is a dead giveaway for your wig. Okay, babe, that's not bundles, that's a wig. And you're like, come on, you really had to put me out like that? <laughs> Other than that, I didn't really have anything else negative to say about this unit. I think she's very cute, very pretty, definitely giving me glam vibes. Oh, but wait, I didn't tell you the price. The price of this wig when I purchased it, y'all, 
it was $14. $14! I bet one of y'all clicked the link after I said that. $14 for this wig. And on Glamour Trust, they do up charges for color. So if you wanted like a color blend, which this, this wig does have pretty color blends, it would be like $18. Matter of fact, let me check the website right now and see what colors they have available. Oh my God. Glamour Trust. There are no more natural colors. <laughs> when I bought this last week, all the natural colors were there. Oh my God, people must have snatched it up. All they have left is, um. SS Amber and SX Russet. And those are like warm, honey, orange, blonde colors. Wow, wow. Oh my God, I really wanted y'all to get this wig in a natural color for $14. It's all right, I looked it up you guys and Shop Hair Wigs is the site that has it for the cheapest right now. So if you want this natural color, it'll be $21. Still within the $20 Tuesday price range if you ask me. I guess I just got this at a steal. $14 for this hair? I'm not complaining about a damn thing. She's really cute. I think it's a perfect density. A mix between 130 and 150 de density, which I think is great. It's really pretty. Let me know how you feel about Vivia in the comments down below because I'm feeling her. But just keep in mind, y'all, this is a synthetic wig. She will tangle. She will eventually shed. The tangling. I don't want people to be thrown off guard. She's $20 or less. This nape area, after a few wears or maybe after two wears, is gonna get tangled. You can brush it out with a paddle brush. You can maybe get a silicone spray to help revive the fibers. But just know this is not made to last like a whole month, y'all. Like, get your few wears out of it and keep it pushing. I can wear this for a night out in the living room. Actually, since we're inside, these wigs will last longer, in my opinion. <laughs> so, you know, just get what you can get from these synthetic wigs, especially the cheaper ones, and keep it moving. This is a look. I love it. Please let me know how you feel about Vivian in the comments down below. How do you feel about this style? Will you purchase her? Have you tried wigs similar to her? How do you feel about Free Trust Equal and their wigs that they've been coming out with? Let me know. And again, thank you so much for joining me on this journey to 10K. Ah! I know y'all probably got tired of me announcing it every video, but you know, it means a lot to me. I understand that subscriber count isn't everything. Actually, watch time is everything on YouTube, but that's a whole nother video. But it's just nice to see that number increase. It does give me some validation about my work and my craft and what I'm doing. And I know I'm good at what I do. So it's just nice to see some numbers behind that. So yeah. Thank you all so much for joining the family. Like, share, comment, all that. You know I love when y'all talk to me. And if you are new here and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything coming up. I will be having a 10K giveaway. Details will be posted in the video very soon, probably when I'm reviewing another wig. So stay tuned for that, most likely later this week. And if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the left of me. Thank you all so much for joining me for another Toya Tuesday. It's on the poppin'. And I'll see you next time. Bye.